This is the third in a series of Beaverton Rotary videos about the fuel briquette project that our club is working on in Beaverton, Oregon, USA. We started uh, with this traditional uh, wood press, which you can see is uh, relatively large, is uh, made out of uh, some heavy, heavy woods. It's a very heavy-duty press, will last uh, a long time. It, uh, for the mold set, we used a piece of galvanized steel pipe with a wooden base, uh, metal washers, and the piston to, uh, was a round wooden piston. And then we had a piece of 4-inch or 10-centimeter PVC, which you can see is drilled full of holes. To make briquettes with this, you put this on the, the base, you put your tube your center tube in, then pour in your material. You can drop this in to make a second briquette, and then the piston goes in. In working with this, one of our members, uh, Bob Peterson, said, you know, we could do things uh, to make it simpler to construct. And so one of the first things was, instead of doing the round piston, to use flat pieces of, of wood and then just cut off the ends. And so this made it a little bit easier. Also, you can... Uh, use uh, acrylic plastic in place of the metal washers which is less expensive and also for making these can be cut on the same tools and, and same um, engra laser engraving set that you would use for making trophies so anywhere in the world that they make trophies or engrave trophies they can also cut those next Bob said well you know instead of having the uh, wooden lever press where you're putting a lot of up and down leverage on it, uh, you could use a bottle jack and make a smaller press. So this was the first Peterson press and the idea was this can be made out of scrap car parts so you can use uh, channel stock out of a uh, car frame, you can use uh, drive rods for your uprights, you uh, put your mold set in here and then pump it and it it up to, uh, to do the, the compression work to make the briquettes. One of our members who has lived for a number of years in Africa in the third world said, well, that's great where they have a metal shop, but um, what about the, uh, the village uh, woodworker, the village carpenter who doesn't have the metal working tools? So Bob said, well, let's make it out of wood. So this was the Peterson Press II uh, made out of, um, in the U.S. we'd call them two-by-fours, and this worked um, quite well, but he said, you know, I can make it even lighter and less expensive than this and so today what we're going to be working with is the stage 3 Peterson press which in the US is made out of what we would call a 1 by 4 internationally the this wood is actually 20 millimeters wide by uh, 80 excuse me, 20 millimeters thick by 80 millimeters wide and then about uh, two and a half meters in length before you start uh, cutting it the Next thing that uh, Bob has also been working on is uh, we've quickly learned that having to drill the holes in um, the PVC was very, very hard. So he said, well, why not have the outer PVC solid without any holes and instead use a PVC center pipe, which you've drilled. And we went through a couple of versions of this and um, with a wooden base and just saw that you just really can't drain the, the water that you need to. So the latest one that we're going to be working with today is a, a metal base. This has a piece of, uh, of channel stock on the bottom, a square piece of metal on top, and then it's got four spot welds on the, the bottom to hold it together. And the notice that it's off, offset so that the water runs out. And then on the back you can put a, a fancy plug or just a piece of of tape to keep the water from coming out the, the back. Our washers are uh, acrylic. One of the other things, instead of making a wooden piston, we use a piece of uh, three inch or seven and a half centimeter PVC, which will this will be our piston. One of the things that uh, we also learned is that uh, once you have made the, the briquettes, you need to get them out of the, the press. And so this is an injection stand, and the idea is that uh, you would make the, the briquettes, take them off, turn this over, 
and then push down to eject them. And this is a piece of um, PVC from the end, which would be the bell end of a long piece of PVC, which has just been shoved over and glued on, and this gives you the extra leverage you need for ejecting the, the, the briquettes. And then this is a, what's called a two-ton bottle jack, a hydraulic bottle jack, also sometimes called an axle jack. The two-ton is the smallest that we could find. If you were able to get a one-ton, that would um, give you sufficient uh, pressure. You can see from the examples we have today that they come in min many varieties, and the, the key is to, to get one and then build your press frame based on the height of the, the jack that you happen to have.